Ow, 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 ow. Hi, and welcome to Daily Miles, which is really sporadic miles at this point. So, Bill, if you come up with another name for the channel, now would be a good time. Because it's going to be sporadic miles for a while. Alrighty, kitties, you deserve an update. So here's an update. So on Friday afternoon, I was supposed to get a phone call from Dr. Wimmer's office. That never happened. His insurance person, Mia Ma, whatever her name is, uh, was supposed to call me. She didn't, so I ended up calling her. Long story short, she threw it back in my lap and said, you deal with it. Uh, we can schedule it. Dr. Wimmer definitely wants to do the surgery, but there's, you know, if there's no money, obviously, you know, he's not going to do the surgery. And I'm like, you did that. She gave me an option and that option was, well, you know, you can always go to the emergency room and yada, yada, yada. Do it through the emergency room. There's always an orthopedic surgeon on call. Option number two is for me to drive back to Santa Barbara, the nine hour drive, 600 miles back to Santa Barbara. There's just one little tiny problem with that. In case you're unclear, the tiny little problem is driving 600 miles or nine hours is not a 600 mile drive. Yes, it's 600 miles and, and absolutely. However, it's not a nine hour drive for me. Every stop is basically 20 minutes. It's 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off. It's rewrapping, 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off. So it's not a nine hour drive. It's more like a 36 hour drive. And that's assuming that the van makes it. And I have serious doubts that the van is going to make it up and over those hills. Sorry, mountains. So the easier thing to do is to do the surgery here. However, because I have county specific insurance, they will not do the surgery unless I live here in Eureka. I don't live here in Eureka. I live in Santa Barbara County. You see the problem. Mr. Miles has spent the better portion of the last weekend going, this is not how the, this is not how medical services should work. It should be, we're doing the work and we'll figure out how to pay for it later. Tomorrow morning, 9am, driving back to the hospital, and beg, plead, bar and steal that the, that the surgery has to go through the ER. They'll call the orthopedic surgeon, assuming that they do. He'll come down, say, yep, you need surgery. And then somehow or another, I will have to convince him to do the surgery through the ER that day, tomorrow. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. That has to happen. If it doesn't, then I will get in my car, wake up the next, uh, I'll spend the, spend the day just, you know, convincing the fact that I have to drive 36 hours and then drive 36 hours to Santa Barbara and then start the whole process all over again. In case it's not clear, I detest the American medical services. If this were Canada, the shit would have been done by now. Oh, you have a torn quadricep tendon. You should probably operate on that. Hold on. No, but I live in the United States. So here's what I'm going to do. First thing, 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, try to convince. If that fails, we're driving to Santa Barbara and start the whole hope jumping all over again. One way or the other, I'm getting my leg operated on. Got it? All right, that's the update. That was easy, huh? On a pleasanter note, wait, there isn't any. Yeah, there, there, there aren't any pleasant notes. All right, folks, that's what I got going on today. Uh, again, to recap, in case you missed it, emergency room tomorrow morning, Santa Barbara, if all else fails. Thanks a bunch for listening. Thanks a bunch for watching. Thank you very much for your donations. I appreciate everybody. And uh, I'll let you know what happens. Bye.